biggest blocks to creating a new earth is that collectively, humanity is stuck in paradigm blindness. So today I'm gonna to be talking about what paradigm blindness is, and at the end of this video, I will help you break through your paradigm blindness. Paradigm blindness is when we cannot see another way of life or any solutions beyond the current paradigm that we are operating from. So it's when we have belief systems that we are so conformed to that we actually view any solutions or anything that reside beyond our belief systems as dangerous, not practical and not attainable. This is because we have been conditioned into a pathological way of viewing the world and we simply cannot see past our own pathology. This is to the point where we don't even like the political figures on the world stage and we don't even know that we don't like them because we are so used to pathology that we actually think that we like these pathological figures and we cannot see their pathology because we are so thoroughly conditioned into pathology. Did I say pathology enough? So I'm not gonna be focusing on any solutions outside of breaking us out of paradigm blindness because any solutions that I offer are gonna be turned into some sort of dangerous ism. And the real issue isn't with any of the isms. It's not with capitalism, it's not with communism, it's not with all of the different things in between those two polarities. The real issue is, is that we have a false premise and the false premise is, is that we think that we're practicing any of these isms. All of these isms can be toxic or they could be really beneficial. The point is we would never know because we've never practiced an ism. All we have ever experienced so far is a pathology using some sort of ism, whatever the ism is, because there's so many, as a human shield in order to carry out their pathology. We haven't even known capitalism in its true state because the truth is we have an oligarchy. We don't have capitalism. This isn't an opinion, this is a fact. We are ran by an oligarchy. An oligarchy is the manifestation of what happens when consciousness is not taking responsibility for itself. The two major lessons for humanity that are attached to this model are health and authority. Because when we defer too much blind faith into any system without learning or becoming aware enough to consciously participate within it, then consciousness falls out of its own authority or health and into a state of disease. Metaphysically and esoterically, you cannot separate the concept of health from authority. In fact, health is a major lesson in this age and it will lead you anywhere you need to be on your journey. So I'm not gonna bring a new ism to the table because we're still unpacking paradigm blindness. We won't even be able to get to any type of ism that will actually be in alignment and in harmony with nature and with the universe at large if we are not able to identify pathology and the false premises that the foundation of this reality is based on. And one of the largest patterns that is fueling this blindness is that we have grown accustomed as a collective to actually putting our energy and our belief and our support behind people who we don't like, but it's actually because we like a different person, a different leader or figure even less. So we aren't actually putting our energy behind causes and behind figures who we genuinely are in alignment with and support. Instead, what we are doing is looking for the closest group or faction that will protect us from what we view is more dangerous. And this method, this feedback loop, is never going to lead to a positive outcome because it was never originated in the first place within our own self-responsibility and sovereignty. It was rooted instead in us just not liking one option. So therefore by default, well, we have to back this option. Do you see how this false dilemma, this false dichotomy is the real issue going on? And it's just dressed up in different regions of the world as different institutions and as different systems that we are all defending even though we don't like. Do you honestly think that we will create a positive new earth if what we are putting our energy in is defending things that we don't like? The answer is no. When we're in paradigm blindness, we get a false sense of camaraderie with other people who share our belief systems, not knowing that that bond between us is energized through a trauma bond. 
It's energized and strengthened simply because we don't like and we find another group extremely dangerous. And because of that, that makes our bond with whoever shares the closest thing to our belief system go super strong. And so it creates this density within us where we become calcified to anything that's outside of whatever our current paradigm, how we view the world is. Another strong sign of paradigm blindness is when we take on this exasperation or this helplessness where we throw our hands up in the air. Like what else are we supposed to do? Anytime all of the plot holes and all of the fatal flaws get called out within our current paradigm. It's like if we're not defending it, then what we're doing is defending the larger grand scheme of like nothing's perfect. So we use this excuse of there being like, you're never going to find perfection or you scoff at whatever solutions arise, almost as it's like somebody searching for a utopia. And really, this is just our Stockholm syndrome that we've been conditioned into from our paradigm. So what we're doing is defending it by going, well, nothing's perfect, when what's really happening is we're sitting in a swamp of toxicity and we don't want to acknowledge it. So there's all these different mechanisms that we use when we're in the state of paradigm blindness to deflect responsibility or to deflect our sovereignty. We don't want to look at dealing with the real root issues of what's wrong with our paradigm and shifting it from there. And instead we build on faulty foundation and that creates more of a reality where there's more faulty foundation. So we're continuing to create a space-time reality that deflects responsibility and continues to defend pathology. How we actually begin to start breaking through our own paradigm blindness is by first becoming deeply honest with ourselves as to why we resonate with who we resonate with. We don't see these figures clearly. I could promise you if we did, we would not be in alignment with them. But we're so used to toxicity that we actually cannot discern. So discernment is the first step here. We have to begin to discern what toxic and pathological features are versus what is not without holding our belief systems on a pedestal because this step is gonna stop us in our tracks from continuing to lend our energy into negative creations. So the first step is being able to call back our energy and to assess whether we are resonating with what we resonate with because we genuinely resonate with it, or if we are resonating with certain belief systems or institutions or groups, whatever it may be, simply because, well, what's the better option? You see there, that's paradigm blindness. That's us not being in our sovereignty as we're creating. Anytime that we cannot identify toxic masculinity and toxic femininity, that's being played out on the world stage and any time that we are lending our energy through support to the manifestations of these groups, that is us giving our energetic free will and our sovereignty away to negative manifestations. And that just sets up more space time to continue playing out more of the same more of the same negative manifestations. So not only is this us not creating from our sovereignty, this is also us lending our support to a very abusive paradigm. It doesn't matter which ism we find superior, because if we are not collectively rooted within our sovereignty, meaning we're taking self-responsibility, then none of the isms are gonna be able to create a positive outcome. So discernment is key here as well as being completely honest with ourselves. Now, the third step in breaking through our collective paradigm blindness, after we've cultivated the discernment and the honesty to stop defending our current paradigm and to see it clearly, is by understanding that creative solutions are a natural byproduct of shifting into a higher consciousness version of ourself, meaning that the reason why we can't see solutions beyond our current paradigm is because we don't reside outside of our current paradigm. But once we're able to break through that paradigm, we will start seeing creative solutions everywhere. They're just gonna look dangerous to the people that are still inside the paradigm blindness. So that's why I'm not gonna go into depth with any solutions. We have to become aware that solutions that appear radical because they reside outside of our current paradigm require us 
to become a radically different version of ourselves so that we shift out of this paradigm and now are able to access new ways of life and conscious living that reflect the new version of ourselves. When we suffer from paradigm blindness, we are not able to visualize what life would be like outside the current model of reality that we were born into. So we search for solutions within the same paradigm that is creating the very problems that we are trying to remedy. But what is beyond this paradigm requires our sovereignty. First, it requires us to radically rethink what health is. Health in every sense of the word possible, starting with its most basic physical manifestation, which is healthcare. And then every layer after that, till its most mystical aspect is revealed. The key to a new earth, or to whatever you resonate with as the paradigm shift, is by entirely rewiring your understanding of health. When you follow this trail, you will naturally shift into a new paradigm. And the meaning of what I just said will become deeper the more you understand this. So it requires us to change in order to step out of the current apathy and inertia that is ruling this paradigm blindness. One of the biggest challenges in the spirit of this age, meaning that in this time period, we are meant to learn certain lessons that other time periods didn't have highlighted. And one of the most highlighted lessons and challenges within this time period is that we are cultivating a vigilance. So this is becoming informed, taking in a lot of data about health in particular and all the different aspects of our health and learning how to not become so overwhelmed by all of the information that we're learning, but learning how to incorporate this information into our lifestyle. This leads people to a lot of exasperation because they're not in alignment with the challenge of cultivating vigilance. But once we start to cultivate vigilance, it actually gets easier. It can actually become really fun to learn about what the healthiest source of water is. It's just not fun at first because we're overwhelmed by so much of the truth of this reality being a toxic and poisoning as it is. And then we become overwhelmed by coming to terms with the fact that there are institutions that want to poison us in the first place. So there's a lot of overwhelm in general when it comes to spiritual awakening. And at every new level, we're asked to be able to cultivate a stronger level of resilience and vigilance. That's why health is one of the strongest lessons and also one of the most popular catalysts that people have to awaken in the first place. So the struggle through awakening of taking in more data is the process that actually creates a version of ourselves that shifts beyond this paradigm. And when we're able to shift beyond this paradigm, we're able to start seeing new systems of life that are in more resonance and harmony with the universe at large. Another way of saying all of this is that we need to take salvation into our own hands by becoming a conscious version of ourselves that is beyond this paradigm. Because the version of ourselves that resides beyond this paradigm is the version of ourselves that can manifest a world beyond this paradigm. And we can't do that if we are making excuses for our current paradigm. I hope this has helped you break through your paradigm blindness. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for higher dimensional guidance through spiritual awakenings. See you next time.